and we are back today with another video. Today's video, we're going to be reading some Town Hall 12 hybrid. Uh, we'll show you how we did it, why we did it, why you know why we chose to go in certain ways. So sit back, buckle up, stay tuned, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Okay, so here is the first base we're going to look at. This is, both hits are going to be my hits. Now, when we look at a base, let's, let's, get, let's get all situated over here. We've talked about many times how the most important things to take out are the CC and the Eagle. Let's hold on one second. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's get rid of the squiggies and start again. CC and Eagle are the most important things. Now, they're both right there. So obviously, I want to be going in either from this way or this way or this way. That's going to be my easiest route to get them. So why did I choose one over the other? Well, I saw that I saw that over here there was there was spaces over here and over here and over here which Tesla's might be able to pop up. So what I did was I started my clean up over here. And that would be and I what I would do is if the this was a fresh hit, if the Teslas did pop, then I was going to put my my king down over here to clear this stuff out and go that way and get my queen to go this way. I wanted my queen to go in this side. If my queen would go in and why? So, okay, so why do, why did I choose Avi? Avi, slow down a second. Why in the world is it better to go in from one o'clock than it is to go from eleven o'clock? That's a really really good question. And let me, let me try and explain why. What is one of the hardest things to, to wall break through is going to be a multi. It's, you know, it, it requires freezing and, and you, can't, you, can't, you can't just spam your wall breakers in there to get them through. So it requires a test and then it requires a freeze and it requires your wall breakers. So I look to see if I came in from this side, if I came in from the 11 o'clock side, it would require me to go through two wall breaks in order for me to get the eagle that I wanted to get. If you notice the eagle, if my queen would get into this compartment over here, you know, into this compartment over here, my queen would not be able to reach that eagle. So I wanted to, if I wanted to, if, if once I had to do a double wall break, it was better for me to wall break on this wall, which I didn't have to deal with the, deal with the multi on the first wall break, and I would only have to deal with the multi on the second wall break, as opposed to coming in through this wall, which would require me dealing with the multi twice. So that's why I chose to come in that way. So now let's zoom out a little bit and go back to what we were talking about. So I started my queen over here, and I wanted to see if the Teslas were gonna pop. Uh, I'm not sure if I dropped my Coco Loon first, or I let my queen do a little bit of work first, but I just wanted to make sure that no Teslas were gonna pop up over here, so my and my baby drag would be able to deal with that stuff. Um, I was going to use that baby drag on one side, king on the other side. Uh, so let's zoom out. It ended up that I used my baby over there and everything was fine. I used my king over here. The king's job was to go that way and make the funnel. Again, it's always about the funnel. In this, in this situation, I'm funneling my queen into the base. I'm leaving her nowhere to go except for in the base. So. Um, got through both layers of walls, dealt with the queen, uh, king went around, all the Teslas ended up being over here. I, the king took care of a lot of the stuff over here, but I still dropped my siege barracks over here instead of over here. I wanted my, I wanted my, uh, the Pekka and the, and the wizards to help out with that queen kill. I did freeze the queen once. And let the let the miners deal with them on the uh, after the freeze was over. Um, that's pretty much it. My queen ended up breaking through this wall over here and ended up taking care of the town hall by herself. So I didn't even use the warded ability. Uh, but that's enough talk. Let's play it out. If I see something interesting during the attack, I will stop it and talk about it. But let's just. Let's just go through this. Let's walk, watch it at double speed. Let's zoom in over here. Here's the baby in the cocoa room. Now you see, let's pause, let's pause this for a second. Let's pause this for a second. 
if you notice, the queen is not going to go down. I left this breadcrumb over here so the queen goes this way. The next thing that's going to attract the queen after that, after she deals with that cannon, is going to be this. And then you have the baby, the, you have the CCs coming in, so the queen is going to step up this way. That's exactly what I wanted her to do. So let's get rid of the squigglies and play it back up. The queen deals with the CC. Not much in there, so I didn't need to do it. Didn't need to use the waypoint, didn't need to use poison. Held on to that poison later. Here's the freeze, here's the wall break. Got a little bit leaky to the wall break and put the other way. But I did get in there, got exactly what I wanted. I use a wave because I wanted to get rid of that, make sure that my heroes are not been targeted. Can't do nothing if they got targeted anyway. Um, hybrid's already down, hybrid's through. I froze the team, used the heal around the two wizard towers. Queen's um, beating on the wall. Like I said, she's going to deal with the CC. Troops are moving through down here. Use a heal spell over there. Through the king. I knew really have to deal with the king. I thought there might be potential kind of bombs over there, which there were. Queen already dealt with the CC. Like I said, you know, the ability is pretty much there to deal with the town hall. So once the queen's dealing with that town hall, Uh, I actually did use a poison on something else besides the CC, so Jump Boss, if you're watching that poison, make sure you Jump Boss. Let's go over and look at the next one. Uh, d &E did get the six pack in this war. Let's look at the second attack for d &E. Uh Let's pause this here. Let's see what the plan was. Um, what did I do on this one? What did I do on this one? Uh, I think I came in, ah, I know what I came in. I, I wanted to, again, so let's look at the base and determine where is the best place to come in and why I went in to one place as opposed to the other place if there were two good places to go in. Uh, CC is over here. Eagle is over here. So I want to go into either this compartment or this compartment. In this one, I don't have to deal with the, uh, don't have to deal with the multis, getting into the multis. So, you know, that's that's good. Um, what I did was I saw that the multi was over here. I chose to come in through this way. I thought this would be the easiest way. It was a little bit risky because of that single over here, but my plan was to come in with my queen through this way and use my siege barracks over here and then mine her straight up through this base after taking care of the CC, of course. Um, and I think that's it. I think the plan pretty much went to play. Let's get rid of the squigglies and watch it. We'll watch it a little slower just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything that went through. Uh, let's fast, let's, yeah, let's start up. Started off with the baby B. Oh, and I started off with uh, with a couple of wounds over here to take out that, take out that, that mortar. This way, uh, there was no, my queen was not coming down. There was no way she was coming down. Anymore. Use the king up over there with some wizards, and now just like that, the funnel has been created. There is nowhere for my queen to go into this base after she takes care of that. She is there's nowhere for her to go except for this base. Uh, drop the cocoa looms, drop the healers, drop the wall breakers with the rage to get through. Now I just got to get the one more wall. Wall breakers, first ones went the wrong way. Second ones also went the wrong way. But it is weak wall, so my queen did beat through those walls. Had to use a freeze on that single just to get through. Then the queen moved over, so I knew she was safe from the single. She starts beating on the wall, get the siege barracks down. The peck is already starting to clear the funnels, starting to clear more trash out there. With the wizards, the Tesla farm does pop over there, so the, the peck and the wizards are going to take care of that. Um, Hybrid is down. We take care of the single without a problem. No freeze necessary. Queen's dealing with the queen. We got a double use poison over there for the queen and for the incoming CC. Uh, use the heal, award ability for the down hall. And now the chief just moved through and just gotta finish the rest of this out. Uh, really, really no big deal. You know, count all 12. I was telling somebody the other day, it seems that once you have a 13, Town Hall 12 becomes a little bit easier. Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13 are very, very similar. Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11 are not similar. It's a whole new, a whole new thing with having that, that, that giga 
But Town Hall 12, Town Hall 13, Town Hall 12 is just easy to win. So, you know, it's just, it seems that this is getting a little bit easier for me, especially at Town Hall 12. But uh, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was clear enough in telling you exactly, you know, explaining exactly why I chose to go in. If there's any questions that you have, please feel free to message me. If you don't need to get in the comments here. Hopefully, oh, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment here. You know, uh, send me a DM on Discord. Pop into stream. Just send me, you know, talk to me in stream. There, I can message you. Just like that, message you live and actually maybe show you and explain to you. But that's going to be it for the video. Uh, until the next video, have a great day, everybody.